My Dell OLED monitor behind me now has a little sibling. All right, let's talk about some of the similarities between this new Dell OLED monitor and the one right here behind me. So they both come with Display HDR 400 True Black. They both have an 1800R curve. They both come in at 1000 nits and the same resolution at 1340 by 1440. I don't wanna get into a ton of details. Um, they both have that 0 0.1 millisecond response time. So they're both super, super fast. The main thing here is this new one that comes in a little bit cheaper, you're gonna get the same amazing gaming experience and the same amazing experience when watching movies. All right, so let me tell you some of the differences between these two models. So the new one that was just released from Dell has AMD FreeSync, and the one behind me, as you guys know, is NVIDIA G-Sync. Now, the one behind me also comes in at 175 hertz, and the new 34 inch comes in at 165 hertz. Not make or break differences in my opinion. And cosmetically, they're a little bit different. The new 34 inch OLED from Dell in the rear, it's painted a grayish black color, and the one behind me here is painted more of a creamish white color. Price, so this is where it gets really, really tricky. So the new model that was released comes in priced at $1,100. The one behind me that I bought last month was $1,300, around $1,400 with tax. Now the one behind me is on sale for $1,200. So here's the tricky part. If you're gonna spend $1,100 on an OLED monitor that only has AMD FreeSync, you're running an NVIDIA GPU, you might as well drop the extra 100 bucks and get a panel that's G-Sync capable and also has a little bit higher refresh rate. Now, I know you're getting the same picture quality from both monitors, and obviously going from 165 hertz to 175 hertz isn't that big of a deal, but you're not spending much more to get those extra features. I personally would like to have seen a $300 price gap between the new 34 inch OLED and the one here behind me. Cause then it becomes more complicated when you're kind of gauging, do you really want to spend the extra $300 to have an Nvidia G-Sync panel along with a higher refresh rate when you'd be perfectly fine with 165 Hertz just using AMD FreeSync. All right, so what are my final thoughts on this new Dell 34 inch OLED? Well, I wish they would have released it a month ago because that's the one that I would have purchased. And here's my reasoning behind that. I don't really need NVIDIA G-Sync. I'm perfectly fine with AMD FreeSync and the extra refresh rate at 175 Hertz instead of 165 Hertz doesn't really bother me. So I really wish that this was released sooner because I could have saved myself a little bit of money. Now, I do believe that the monitor behind me is still the best gaming monitor that you can buy in 2022. Now that's all gonna drastically change come 2023 with all these new 8K monitors, you know, with DisplayPoint 2.1 and everybody's running a 4080, a 4090, a 7900 XTX with all these super high refresh rates. It's all super exciting. I can't wait to, to dive into all that later on this coming year. But I will post links down in the description below so you all can check out these two monitors. Post them in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if the one behind me at a price tag of $100 more than the new 34 inch is worth it. And let me know which one you guys would go with. So that's all I got for tonight, guys. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one.